Hi guys. So in the last lecture we looked at uh, the differential equation for a lookback option. Uh, today let's look at the formula for a lookback option. Okay. So from the previous lecture we saw that the stock price can be written as S0 times e to the power of sigma w hat of t. Okay, where w hat of t was a Brownian motion with a drift, right? And we also looked at the maximum value that the stock takes between time 0 and small t and that was given by y of t and this was equal to S0 times e to the power of sigma m hat of t where m hat of t was the maximum value the Brownian motion takes between time 0 and t. Okay, and we also know what the payoff of a uh, look back option is. Payoff is given by y of capital T minus s of t, right? Now y of t, capital T can be written as, y of capital T is nothing but from here we can see it, it can be written as s0 times e to the power sigma m hat of capital T. Right, and we can do a little bit of manipulation here. We can add and subtract sigma m hat of small t. m hat of small t. Okay, if we do that, then what we can do is we can write this term as s naught times e to the power of sigma m hat of small t, which is right here, multiplied by e to the power of sigma m hat of capital T minus m hat of small t, right? Now this basically is nothing but y of t. This is nothing but y of t. So this can be written as y of capital T can be written as y of small t e to the power of sigma m hat of capital T minus m hat of small t. Okay? Now what I would like to do is I would like to look at this term a little closer. So let's do that. Now m hat of capital T minus m hat of small t. So if we basically look at time small t here, capital T here and zero here, okay? m hat of small t is nothing but the maximum value that the Brownian motion has taken till time t, okay? Now this basically, we can look at under two conditions. The first condition is, if between time t and small and small t and capital T, if the Brownian motion takes a new high, okay, so till here the high was m of m hat of t. But if between t and capital T we take a new high, okay, then this m m hat of capital T minus m hat of small t can be written as maximum time less than or equal to s less than or equal to capital T w hat of s okay so this basically is the maximum that the Brownian motion takes between time t and small t and capital T okay small t and capital T what are the maximum value the Brownian motion takes and what we are saying is here we basically are assuming that it's taken a new high if it's taken a new high then this will be higher than this and we can write this as max of this minus okay so that's the first case when we basically take a new high. If we don't take a new high between T and capital T, that basically means that at expiration, whatever high was there at time small t still remains the, um, remains the high. In that case, we'll basically get a zero, right? So if we don't get a new high between time T and capital T, then the old high basically uh, remains the high, right? So M hat of capital T is nothing but M hat of small t. In that case, this term will get cancelled out, we'll get a zero. In case we take a new high, then we can write this as max of the Brownian motion between time t and capital T minus mt. Okay, as simple as that. And this, these conditions together, so m hat of capital T minus m hat of small t then can be written as max t less than or equal to s less than or equal to t w hat s minus m hat t maximum of this or zero right which is signified by this 
this plus sign. Okay, so understood? So if we take a new hat between time t and capital T, then m hat of capital T would be higher than m hat of small t. Okay, then we'll get this. In case we don't get a new high, then m hat of capital T would remain equal to m hat of small t. Okay, and then these two would cancel out and we'll get a zero. And that basically signified by maximum of zero and this term by a plus. Okay, so this, this thing is understood. Now we can uh, do a little bit simplification here. What we can do is we can write max t less than or equal to s less than or equal to t w hat s. Now I'm going to add and subtract w hat of small t. Hat of small t minus m of t. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these terms together. So I'm going to say now, this is nothing but max t less than or equal to s less than or equal to capital T. w hat s minus w hat t. So I've taken care of this term and this term. I'll take minus m hat t minus w hat of t. And I have to take maximum of zero and this term. Okay, so I've just basically grouped uh, different terms together and I'll get this. Now, we know from here, we can see from here, this equation, m hat of t is nothing but one by sigma log of y t by s zero, right? And here w hat of t can be written as one by sigma log st by a zero. I can substitute these two right here and let's see what I'll get. We'll get max t is less than or equal to s less than or equal to capital T w hat s minus w hat t right and instead of m hat of T, I'm going to get 1 by sigma log yt by s0 minus 1 by sigma 1 by sigma log st by s0. Okay? And this can be simplified further. We will write this as max t less than or equal to s less than or equal to capital T w hat of s minus w hat of t. And here I can take one by sigma outside the brackets. And inside I'll be left with log yt by st. Okay, so I basically have taken I'm looking at this term and I've simplified it to this term right here. Okay, now what we can do is we can basically look at our risk neutral pricing formula and use this value of yt to compute what is the price of a look back option. So let's do that. <laughs> 